four weeks ago and um, talking about Upward Bound. Um, and I'm not sure if all of you are familiar with Upward Bound, but um, there are two programs that are federally funded, one's at PCC. Um, my colleague Cindy Ayala um, directs that program, and then we have one at CSU Pueblo. Um, the CSU Pueblo Upward Bound program serves low-income and first-generation college students. Um, and I have three, uh, three schools in District 60, and I have County in District 70. Um, and um, Chad basically dropped in, uh, we were talking about education and talking about some of the good things that are happening in, in both District 60 and 70. Um, and we talked about the fact that um, we have the first team in Pueblo that's competing statewide for the best uh, robotics um, championship. That stands for Boosting Engineering, Science, and Technology. So we'd be the first team ever from Pueblo High Schools to compete at the statewide level. Um, so our team uh, this morning represents um, Centennial and County, but I do have students from East as well represented. Um, so what you're going to see them do today is this is going to be, in a sense, their first dry run at presenting um, the marketing aspect of the competition. And it's a big aspect. There's 25 points on a scale of 1 to 100 for this particular presentation. So Chad suggested that the kids basically do their dry run and practice um, with some of the local clubs that he suggested you all. Um, and then they're going to be presenting at the uh, Optimus Club at lunch today. Um, so pretty much it's for you to just, you know, just check out the team. They decided to call themselves the Thunderbots um, and talk about the project. And then from your standpoint, to sort of serve as their mentors, to give them some suggestions, some of your thoughts, some of your experience on presenting, um, and then go from there. So we really appreciate your time, and thank you so much. All right, Thunderbots, go. Um, we're from TSU, a little upper down. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, we're trying to promote our company for the Thunderbots Incorporated. And this is our marketing team. Um, we're just trying to sell you our design and our robot. Um, as we move further into the 21st century, a space exploration, uh, interplanetary resource development, and space community settlement will become a necessity. The recently launched Space Elevator program will require unmanned robotic vehicles for routine space cargo delivery. Uh, we're here with our technical demonstration system as well as our engineering notebook to prove to you that Thunder Robotics is poised to outmatch the strongest of our competitors to win your trust and with that your contract. Our company's mission was to develop premier low-cost solutions for transporting space destined cargo from warehouses on the Hanaloa in the Pacific Ocean out beyond Earth's gravity field to the anchor asteroid Atlas which lies in geosynchronous orbit 62,000 miles above us. And we succeeded with our cargo delivery prototype, the Thunderbox. On Honolulu, there's a building from which a vertical line of carbon nanotubing secured around an unobtainium monocrystalline structure rises up and disappears into the sky. The Thunderbot will ascend along this line after collecting cargo to the first stop along its way to Atlas, which is Midway Station. After a storage depot for cargo, a solar power station, as well as comfortable living quarters for our engineers. In our company information, which our organizational chart is, <coughs> our chief executive officer is Bill Duna. Our chief financial officer is Anna Mestiz, which could not be here with us today. Our chief oper operations officer is James White. Our director of marketing is Jordan Masters. I'm the director of public relations. Research and construction supervisors are Dante Bueno, which cannot be here with us also, and Tyler Garcia. Our engineering team is Isabella Harden, Sarah Garcia, which cannot be with us today, and Natasha Pacheco.
consult with people that are experts in the field so we get that experience help. Our strategy is for product development, which is we do research a lot. Uh, we're utilizing speech laboratory science. We do trial and error experiment, ooh, trial and experimentation. And we also do market research. Okay, our company demographics include five men and five women, which is pretty cool. We have eight of them all. And we have two Caucasians, Will, no, not Will. <laughs> um, two Pacific Islanders, no, one Pacific Islander, that's Kyrie, one mixed race, which is me, and five Hispanics, which is Natasha, Tyler, <laughs> Dante, and Adam. Um, we also include different schools. We come from County and East and Centennial, and we have also variety of grades such as 9, 10, 12, and 11. So, yeah. Okay. Our budget and financial profile, major financial investors are CSU Pueblo Upward Bound. They provide our food when we go anywhere, they provide the transportation, they provide the hotels, they also provide us with mentors who are here to help us with our robot, and they provide us with internet and supplies. Um, our in-kind investors are CSU Pueblo College of Education, Engineering and Professional Studies. They provide us laboratory space, laboratory equipment, office equipment, and supplies. <coughs> Uh, our brainstorming methods. We um, we have our group discussions when we come together in the upper bound office, and we would talk about who's doing the notebook, who's doing the robot, and who's doing the marketing. Well, we decided on that, and then um, <coughs> we would present different ideas to each other as far as like um, who's doing the PowerPoints, who's writing the. Uh, information I say for the notebook and who's building the robot, who's programming the robot, who's doing all this. And then evaluation of a working prototype by observing the following. Um, we're trying to get the arm working now. It's not going to be great. <laughs> um, it goes up and down. It, the design we're trying to come up with is trying to keep the thing balanced while it goes up the pole. <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> the evolution of design and alternatives, we've kind of basically decided on what materials what we're going to use and how it's going to look. Um, and then for the effective and implements of these designs, so from paper to actual 3D models, um, basically just standard milling, drilling, sawing. Um, and putting everything together to see if it actually works. Do, does our design hold up how we wanted it to? Does it properly have the shape and dimensions of what we thought it would and how that would work? So our marketing and public rela publication relation. Created a publicity com campaign to Ale Farm Schools and the community of the <coughs> um, Each one of the Thunder Robotics marketing <coughs> representatives met with their principals and teachers to discuss what we were doing and to um, get a little bit of extra help from them. We created flyers and posters um, and we passed them out all, at all of our schools and throughout our community. We had a press release published in the Pueblo Chieftain. Rocky Mountain PBS filmed a short demonstration of our robot for the Homework Hotline. Our presentations were made are to Pueblo West Rotary Club and Pueblo Optimist Club. We gathered a group of campus and community partners to support our efforts. CSU Pueblo Office of Provost, CSU College of Education, Engineering, and Professional Studies, School District 60 and 70, Centennial High School, Pueblo West Rotary Club, Consultants for Education Initiatives, Pueblo Education Consortium, and Rocky Mountain PBS and Optimist Club of Pueblo.
Thank you for your time. Any questions? <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> That's funny. Um, could I make a suggestion for Bill, Tyler, and James maybe? They may be having a hard time picturing what we're building. You talked about it, but if they we don't have a slide about it. So if somebody could briefly <coughs> tell them that the robot climbs 10 feet in the air or something like that. Um, for the actual competition and for our demonstration, um, we've built a model of our space elevator prototype, which will be uh, sending a 10-foot pole along a cable having to deliver cargoes that are represented by little uh, wiffle balls, hot bottles, and then they'll have to be moved from the ground to 10 feet in the air by our robot. Um, there's other, there's habitation modules, there's a T module, which they haven't told us what that is supposed to represent, um, that will have to go up into the air. There's also things that will have to come down. Um, if this picture in the corner here, it's hard to see, but that's one of my original sketches for the body of our robot which will be mounting all the electronic components and the arm to yes. How is it powered? Um, it's powered currently by a 12 volt battery. Okay. Um, and that's, that's just contained of, inside? Or yes, that will be inside of the main base. What's the, what's the weight of this thing? Um, we have to keep it under 24 pounds. Um, we don't have a current weight because um, we don't have everything mounted yet. Um, we're still designing and trying to problem solve our arm. How, how, give us an idea how big it is. Um, currently, about that big, but that tall. The body, the body itself is a perfect cube. About that? No. 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 <laughs> That's a rectangle. Well, I'm just saying in size, box size. <laughs> so it's powered by a battery, but what's the propellant? The, what uh, the propellant will be uh, a large motor that will just be winding the cable. Oh, What's, what's the when and where? Uh, our, we have a practice session on the 20th this month. Um, and that is, what's the name of the high school again? What's, what's the name of the high school? Denver High School. Denver High School. Denver High School. Denver high school. Denver. Yeah. I just go there. <laughs> when, when you load cargo and unload cargo, does that have to be done remotely? Yes, all of this will be done remotely. The person operating the robot will be standing approximately 15 feet away. And you do it with a yes. remote? Um, for the sake of the demonstration, it is an Xbox controller. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cool. It's rigged to work wirelessly with our robot. <coughs> yes. Is, oops, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Is um, your robot your unique imagine imagination or did they give you kind of parameters for this um, event? We were given a box of materials that we were allowed to use and only those materials. Um, some of them were what we call expendable materials that we can saw in half, we can drill into. Some of them are materials that we have to return to them just as we got them, such as the motors and servos and the controller. Um, and all of the designing, um, we uh, most, almost all original design, but I guarantee you there's going to be about 15 other boxes with arms when we get there. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of imagination, but also some yeah. given concrete yeah. things you had to use. Yeah. OK. Yes. How much time do you have you guys put in hour-wise at the labs and stuff, do you think? Are you guys keeping That's, track of that? Yes, we are keeping track of that. That's probably our biggest shortcoming, because as we are from three different schools, and we're balancing 10 different schedules along with the schedules of our advisors and lab space, um, most of our work happens on Friday afternoons in about three to four hour sessions. Saturday. And so, some Saturdays. <coughs> Saturdays from 10 to 4 as well. I, I was going to say that's probably the biggest challenge you have with, with so many students at different schools is yes. getting together, especially if one's in charge of certain things, right? Yeah, and that also is um, with the rest of the competition and the rest of the, the teams, we are the only team that is made up of different schools. All of the other teams are one school and one school only. So they're actually looking to us to see how that goes this year. We are also the very first team ever from Pueblo. Yeah. Really? Yes. How was your team assembled? What, how are you recruiting? Um, our recruiting um, specific requirements wise, the, the, what that was given to us, 
half of our team had to be from one school. That's why five of us are from Centennial. Um, Recruiting-wise, we are all from the Upward Bound program, and it's really those who just have an interest. Um, I do a lot of computer programming, and so that's how I originally got into this. Um, my friend James here is an excellent mechanic. Tyler does programming as well as graphic design. He made the logos on our t-shirts and did all that himself. Got it printed for us. Um, Natasha and the girls, they're all wonderful presenters, and they built our wonderful PowerPoint. Yeah, and uh, our, our, most of us are from a different group, our STEM group, which is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And so it wasn't a far jump to get to this team. So, so was it something passed out at the high school for this, or? Um, no, actually, um, the original, uh, the competition was brought to our attention by one of our advisors, uh, Miss Carol Fortino, and she's, uh, it was originally presented to me because she knew I had an interest in that. And in order to get a team, we had to, we had to get our whole team ready to go. And then you know, CSUP Upper Bound was our, essentially our financial backer for it. We basically sent out a, we work very closely with all of our students. We have 87 students. Um, and my personal interest is in STEM. So when I got on board in Upper Bound, I created what we call a STEM cohort. So just a few students who are really interested in science, technology, engineering, math. So pretty much Steve, who's a counselor, um, you know, I just say, hey, Steve, send a Facebook out. How many kids would like to be involved in robotics? So that's basically how it literally happened, Facebook messaging. And these are the students that responded back. So do you use CSU students for guidance, mentoring? We do have um, one student from the engineering department, and I wish I could pronounce his name properly. Learmont. Uh, um, and he's absolutely fantastic. We bounce ideas off of him, um, and he sometimes he gives us ideas, which technically isn't supposed to happen. But yeah, <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> well, my son's a, a big challenge being a, not being a school because we just yeah. don't have the resources that a school does. Um, so we're working against a lot of a lot of challenge. And as Will said, this is really an experiment. Um, you know, we, we just don't know if, if this is something we could sort of continue with. Um, because, you know, a school has all the resources, they have their teachers, you know, right after class, the kids go right to lab every day. Um, but hey, we're doing it. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is slowly but surely it is getting done. Yeah. What's the purpose of doing it with five different schools? Because it's just upward bound. Because it's, it's an upward bound program. That was just our pool of people program. to from. Um, we didn't have as many people from Centennial who were interested, and so one of the rules allowed for different schools to be brought in. Oh, you have to have so many on a team. Yes. Okay. There's, so I think, <coughs> the team minimum, I think, is four, but in order to do this with four people, you'd have to no, be absolutely nuts. No, that's not even, that's the, no, the PowerPoint minimum. There's teams, like 20, 40 people yeah. in one team. Yeah. We're the smallest. Oh, we're six. Six. There's also a six-week thing that I don't, we didn't give you time for. From start to finish, this all has to be done in six weeks. Completion, testing, competition, six weeks. Design Fast. to building to implementation to debugging to our final presentation is six weeks. What is your final presentation? Uh, it's the 27th. 27th. And that's when we will have to go and compete against all the other teams <coughs> in their robots and see who's the best. 23 other high school teams. Are you guys all in the same? Level of high school, maybe? Um, no. Different. Well, it's all different levels. Freshmen, sophomores, and seniors. Cool. I'm a senior. Senior, senior, senior. And do you junior. think this, do you think what you're doing junior. now in some way reflects what you may want to pursue when you go on into a, maybe higher education? Uh, yes, I'm actually going to go to college at Boulder for aviation and engineering. And that's my personal I'm passion. I'm going to go into advertising. And I'm going to Harvard, real Florida, so I'm alone. Cool. <coughs> that doesn't work out. I'm a math teacher because I love math. So. <laughs> yes. I have to ask. Can you describe the the issues with this uncooperative arm? <laughs> um, well, the the biggest hurdle we're having is we are given uh, three motors and four no four motors and four servos. 
One of the motors has to be dedicated to the winch system, which is how we're ascending. Um, and the, the other three motors and the four servos we can dedicate to whatever we want. Um, so it's just making sure the arm can have all the motion it requires, because one of the challenges is there is a box. It's a, a, made of PV, or a square made of PVC, and there's a little bar on the ground in the shape of a T. And so the T has to go up go through the slot and be rotated 90 degrees. And we currently can't figure out how to make that happen. Um, and that is one of the biggest, because uh, each piece of cargo you move has a specific point value for the competition, which is how we're being judged. And the T is one of the biggest point gainers we can receive. So does this have to pick up, I mean, it's all remote, yes. does this have to pick up the cargo? Yes. And lift it? And then come back and pick up another piece of cargo. Claw, shovel. Yeah, so that's something. if this were to go to Atlas, is that what the yes. asteroid you said? So this would all be remote. Yes. From the cargo side. Um, and that's probably the biggest thing because if indeed it does fail, no one will be on it when it does. <laughs> yes. If you get it to work, will you bring it back and show us? We love to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not if. Yeah. We win. We win. We win. When we win, we will be back to show you our prize-winning robot.